Here's your start list then for the 400 free S9. Conkily, Shaw, Marquez Soto, Patterson, Gordicic, Zhu, Cole and Jovovic. Well, the way this race was swam in the heats this morning, so difficult to tell where a lot of the swimmers really are in this 400. One thing we can establish is Patterson is swimming very quickly, took it out well this morning. The battle of the Paralympic champions. Patterson in four, Marcus Soto in three. And the young buck from Great Britain, Tony Shaw, get herself onto the podium. She was good this morning, won her heat, only good enough to be in lane number two. Yeah, and the lane indication here, not as strong as normally we would see after a heat. The only person who really attacked the racing this morning was Lakeisha Patterson, that yellow, ed yellow cap of Australia edging ahead here. But she even her, she still had plenty in reserve. So this race could unfold very excitingly. Ellie Cole at the top for Australia, starting well, but she's been sprinting. She now trains with the Campbell sisters in Sydney. So she's really been working on the power events. So she'll be looking to stick with this pace as long as possible. Silver medalist at the Paralympic Games in Rio, but since then has switched that attention to the, the shorter distances but Tony Shaw has got a real opportunity here she's in British record breaking form this week she's had a superb start to the championships and she'll sniff that she has got an opportunity here to become a world champion this is the first S9 event of the week for the women that hasn't had Sophie Pascoe of New Zealand in it so it's a really good opportunity here for someone else to take a world championship crown and these ladies will know that and that will have brought in an added inch of anticipation and excitement but also of course then with that comes nerves totally agree Pascoe has been all conquering in the S9 category three races three golds for the great New Zealander no one really has come too close to troubling her. It's been Pascal and the rest in the S9s, not tonight. And as Liz rightly says, that added incentive for the swimmers. Going out very hard here, Lakeisha Patterson of Australia. Tony Shaw in second place at the moment. And so the other Aussie, Ellie Cole, is right up there as well. She's in third. Marcus Soto alongside her almost in fourth place a two and a half second lead at the halfway point for patterson it's not impossible to overthrow that but it's a long way back at this stage if patterson can keep up this form yeah patterson is trying to break the field that's the tactic she knows that's the tactic that has worked for her in the past but tony shaw looking very comfortable for great britain and Ellie Cole of Australia, Marcus Soto of Spain, they were separated by a whisker at the Paralympic Games. That result going in the favour of the Spaniard. But there's still a long way to go in terms of turning up the gears, making amends. Lakeisha Patterson is looking to get herself far enough ahead that when the girls chasing do come for her, she's done enough. That's something we've talked about a little bit over the course of the distance events across the classes. Something I know you said it quite a bit this week. Tony Shaw can go to her legs in the final 100 metres to try and make something of a difference. Yeah, whereas we'll see Patterson's gone pretty quickly from the start, pretty hard. So she's been using her leg kick. She's got a weakness in all four limbs. So again, she will have a more maintained stroke, speed rate that she uses. Whereas Tony Shaw can go to her legs as an arm amputee. And the chasing Ellie Cole and Naraya Marcus Soto both have leg amputations. So they have to really look to build the power and wind up their arms pretty early on if they're likely to catch. Patterson controlled. It's been really impressive this so far from Lakeisha Patterson of Australia. Expanding that lead over Tony Short. Was two and a half seconds. It's now 
four seconds. 350 mark and Patterson is well clear of the field here as she comes towards home. Final 25 metres for the Aussie. Tiffany thomas Kane got their first gold medal with the championships on day four. It doesn't look like they're going to have to wait long until their next one. In comes Patterson, a commanding performance. It looks like it could well be silver for Great Britain, but no doubt about gold. It's for the green and gold of Australia. Lakeisha Patterson is the world champion. Tony Shaw is going to take a magnificent silver to the roar of this crowd. And it's going to be two Aussies on the podium as Ellie Cole picks up the bronze. It's an oceanic record for Lakeisha Patterson. Smooth and controlled as you like. It never looked in doubt from about 50 metres out. That was so strong from Patterson. She looked to break the field, as you said, and absolutely no way back from that point on. Yeah, great swim there from Lakeisha Patterson. She has been moved up a category, but she knows that she could keep up. She was the fastest athlete in the world coming into this event, and she is the Commonwealth Games 100-metre freestyle championship champion in this category. So she knows she can hold her own, but again, she had to swim her own race because if she had tried to go out slower with the others, then it might not have worked out for her. This is what she's been waiting for, and she'll be over the moon to be a world champion. An oceanic record there being announced in venue for Lakeisha Patterson as well, so she, she couldn't have done any more. She had to wait a little while until her specialist event, Lakeisha Patterson. But from her perspective, it was worth the wait. Confirmed results. Patterson, oceanic record for gold, 438.29. Tony Shaw picks up silver for Great Britain. Ellie Cole adds another Australian to the podium with bronze.